look, continuing on from Deputy Dorkin, I think we do know what the, what the opposition believe in. We, 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 we saw an action over 14 years with Fianna Fáil trying to deliver. I know in my own county of Monaghan that they tried their best to close Monaghan Hospital. Michal Martin, as Minister of Health, did his best to close Monaghan Hospital. They very nearly succeeded, except that they were rejected in the last general election. They also, as well as that, wanted to close Cavan Hospital, they wanted to close Navan Hospital, they wanted to close the Dock, Andrada, and they had this pie in the sky notion that they'd build a super hospital somewhere north of Dublin to replace all these hospitals. Thankfully, we're a new Minister for Health with James Riley. He's protecting the smaller hospitals, investing money in the small hospitals. We're investing nine and a half million euros in Monon Hospital to upgrade it and put in a primary care unit on the site. Just last week, we opened a primary care centre in Cavan Town, and we're, we, we also opened a cystic fibrosis unit in, in Cavan Hospital and upgraded the medical assessment unit. These are positive changes that are taking place under this government. These are positive changes that are helping small rural communities. In terms of the hospital groups, small, small towns now see a future for healthcare in their towns. It's been upgraded rather than downgraded, as is the Fianna Fáil case. It took us some time. I mean, the people who founded our state, they believed in republican ideals, they believed in universality, they believed in equal access to healthcare and education for all. It took us 40 years or 50 years to get our act together in relation to education before we, we supply, we give, we give people access to secondary education. It took to the 1960s for that to take place. Our public health care system does not work. The reason why people buy private health insurance is they have no faith, in some instances, in the public health care system. Fianna Fáil are reactionary, as always, and want to retain the current system, whereby poorer people have to wait longer for access to services. That's the Fianna Fáil model. We know the Fianna Fáil model. Let the poor wait. Well, we who can pay get in through the front door as quickly as we want. What we're trying to do as a government is live up to the republican ideals of the founders of this state by providing universal health care for all, that people based upon need rather than ability to pay get access to the service. And I commend the government, I commend the minister for trying to move forward with this agenda. In terms of what will, what will be covered, it's been covered at length by members of the House here. Everybody will be entitled to a suite of services. They'll be entitled to, to, to uh, try to providers. They will have free GP access. This is, this is all beneficial. In terms of cost, I hear a lot of people scaremongering about you know, how will the people, how will the middle classes cope with paying for the taxes to bring, introduce this system. I point out that many people who have private health insurance at the moment are also paying for the public system through their general taxation. So, in future, what we hope to introduce is a system which is efficient, but at the same time, is, 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 more, is, is, is more equitable and will allow people who haven't the ability at the moment to access private health care to be given the exact same access as those who can and I think that's to be commended. In terms of the issue, issue of profit, I hear a lot of people in the opposition benches talk about, you know, this is about profit. It's not. The hospital groups are non, not, not for profit organisations. They're, they're, the modus operandi is not to uh, have profits, it's to, be, to deliver services. Surely the, the private healthcare providers, they want to make a profit, but they'll only deliver a profit to their shareholders if they provide a, a service which the general public wants. And because people will have a choice, if a provider is not providing a suite of services the general public wants, they can go to another provider. If the hospital, if the hospital is not is not providing the service that the general public wants, the general public will have an option to, be, to, to go to another private health insurer and go to another hospital. But I see this as a real opportunity for small towns and small hospitals that were faced with closure on the Fianna Fáil policies. It gives us an opportunity to have a service and provide specialist services in the hospitals around the country that people will, 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 will use and access. I saw no hope for Monaghan or Cavan under Fianna Fáil. I saw no hope for, 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 for our smaller hospitals. All I could see was, was closure and more centralisation closer to Dublin. Under this system, we have, the, we have, the, we have the, the hope that we can develop our service again. We've, we've been able to retain our hospital, keep it open. We've now a commitment from government to provide extra money to develop it. And I believe with universal, universal health insurance, if, we, if our hospital group and if the people uh, on the boards of the, of the hospitals can define services which the local community really needs. I believe the local community will use those services. I believe the hospitals will have a future. And, and I believe this model is to be commended. I, I, I believe that it's, it's something that really we, it's long overdue. And, if, and, and if, if introduced between now and 2019, it will be a positive step in making sure that the ideals of the people who formed our country 
when informed our state are realised finally. Thank you. Thank you, Deputy.